Good morning, everybody. I'm Desert Eat Eagleton. It's been a long time, but it was requested that I do more car content. So here we are. We're going to be talking about broken rubbers today. That is because I got a flat tire here. Uh, on the other side over there, that tire's got a little bit of a slow leak, but that's okay right now. It's also dry rotted, but we'll just, you know, it's okay for now. But well, that guy's a big problem. Now my Ventura here, you can notice that the poverty caps are missing. But we had a blowout on the back. One of the side walls gave up or something poked it or something. So I got the original spare for the tire, or the spare for the car on there. And uh, yeah, I'm not trusting it. It doesn't really look dry rotten or anything, but it's there. Holding there at least. And then the Toyota, that poor thing, hasn't had any work done to it at all in ages. But today we are going to do just a little bit of work on it. As in, we're going to take the front tires off because I already took the rears off. That's them right there. Um, not sure if you can really tell, but there's a little bit of a leak somewhere in here. Um, so I got some new tires for that. They're actually a little bit smaller. But, uh, because I really only intended on buying new tires for these wheels, you know, just as a spare or just to roll around on it first when I first get it running. And then I'm going to buy some aftermarket cool guy rims and all that stuff. This is the leaky one for the Ventura. See, there's no air in it. Um, by the way, it's cold as fuck and I'm wearing shorts. Gang, gang. <clears throat> So, I think what we're gonna do is start from front, work our way back. I don't have the tires for the Ventura yet. They're on their way. Amazon, in their infinite wisdom, decided to ship them uh, individually. So, they should be here tomorrow. Fingers crossed. And then, yeah, we can uh, get all that started. Also, I don't have enough jack stands. My original plan is to take all my tires that need done to the tire shop in one go. I don't have the jack stands to do it. I only have this one lone jack stand that isn't holding up the Toyota. And I don't even have enough for doing that. And plus it'd be sketchy a little bit more on that later. So the plan is the jack stand is going to sit on a concrete block and it's going to hold up the rear end of the truck. Oh, by the way, I got a new truck. Yeah, the 7.3 is gone. Is this an upgrade? I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. I wanted to downsize and I kind of regret it. I miss my crew cab 7.3 with five speed. It also got like triple the fuel economy that this thing gets, but eh, eh, whatever. Yeah, uh, ADHD aside, I've managed to scrounge up enough jack stands from friends to hold this guy up while we take its rims to the tire shop and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hop to it. I'm not gonna be able to hold my phone here. Yeah, I'm doing this on my phone because it's like my camera battery's dead. Uh, probably because I haven't made a YouTube video in so long. And um, I didn't want to charge it because I want to go to bed. It's 7.30 in the morning. I just got off work from working fucking like 12 and a half hours. All right, you know, give me a break. So let's go diddle with the truck. Jesus, not using an impact socket or an impact extension. Just sending it. That is a washer. Or did the lug not come apart? Yeah. That's some sort of washer. Ooh wee! Man, I buy some vehicles for some classy people. Oh, let me get the other ones off and we'll come back. So for some further explanation here, 
we got two different style of lug nut on this truck. And yeah, the guy put in a washer here. There's, there's another one right here too. And uh, let's talk about the difference here. They're both acorn uh, lug nuts, we call them. This one's just an extended thread. It works. It's just not ideal because it still has the, the conical part right here, the beveled edge that this guy has. It's just not as much. So it's going to be a little bit tougher to center the rim sometimes, depending on the rim. But yeah, this is not the correct one that we should be using for this because this would imply that like you need the extra thread, like, you know, but we don't really need that where we're going, but we're just going to keep it on here for now because if it ain't broke. Blowing up. I should have thought this through a little bit better. The yard goes downhill. I know how to fix that. In a moment. One little step at a time, huh? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. There. Now it should be perfectly safe. I just gotta remember to take it out of four-wheel drive before I drive it anywhere. So more into the it's less than ideal situation. The ground is very soft. We're at the beginning of spring where things are melting. And not that I trust grass and Twinkie! Anyway, uh, not that I trust the, the grass to hold the jack stand without it sinking into the ground or falling sideways and breaking. Anyway, so I put it in this concrete block. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure if the concrete block's gonna hold it, but there's only one, only one way to find out, and that is uh, don't be anywhere underneath this. So let's bring her down. Slow. said slow. It was not slow. Okay. Oh, and these damn neighbor kids. I had a D-ring in here and they forced they Jimmy Jack that motherfucker. Alright, so let's get this tire off. Huh. They told me a step side wouldn't be useful for anything. Alright. On to the Ventura. Well, we're just gonna take the, uh, we're just gonna loosen up the lug nuts and let it sit. That way I can have a little bit of a, a quicker, I don't know, it's less work for tomorrow. All right, and the Toyota's ready. <clears throat> That is sketch. I mean, uh, I feel terrible, but if it's all I got, it's all I got right now. These girls need new shoes. So let's get these tires loaded up and uh, we wait for the brown truck of happiness to show up tomorrow. So looking in the back of the Escape, we got one set of tires for the Toyota. Well, I guess two sets. We got the new set and out of here, and there's one tire for the Ventura and one for the truck. Got a little bit of room to spare yet. Hopefully, I can uh, shoehorn the rest in here. I'll, we'll test and see how utilitarian this SUV is, I guess.
But anyway, I gotta wait for the tires to come in. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yay, the new tires are here. Well, I'm gonna get these things loaded up in the Escape and uh, go to work. I don't have time to deal with that right now, so. Uh, UPS always waiting for the last second. So, we'll get these packed up in the car and tomorrow morning, we'll get these things pulled off, take them to the shop. Feller goes to work for 13 hours and everything goes to shit. Well, I gotta do some thinking about how I'm gonna do this because I only have two jack stands in the jack and I have to take all four tires off this car. <sighs> My intuition says to put the jack stands on the front of the car and keep the jack under the rear end. However, you can't really get the jack to the rear end on this car because both the exhaust and the gas tank's in the way. But we can try. And that's what I'm, I'm gonna do, I guess. So we'll catch up when I get this thing up in the air because it's snowing slash raining and I don't really wanna have my phone out in this mess. So apologies, but we'll get an update here in a few. All right, so she's up in the air. All the tires are off and it's sitting on two jack stands and the jack, I did happen to have a friend drop off two more jack stands and I really appreciate it, but I, I can't fit them under there. So we're just gonna leave it kind of kind of sketchy. Just, you know, don't lean on it, It'll be fine. Um, so we got the tires in the Escape and uh, some of you are wondering, what is the utility of these little, these little SUVs? Well, let me tell you, bud. She can hold uh, four sets of tires and maybe even close the doors. Plus 133. You know, it might not be like something that everybody needs to know, but for the right guy, you know who you are. You need to know. Well, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and button this thing up and we're heading to the tire shop. All right, we're back. And I'm heading to the tire shop now to go pick up my tires. This is uh, several hours later because I took a nap in the escape and I picked up my favorite little helper. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go together and we're gonna go pick up the tires and then put them on. And uh, man, I got a feeling this is gonna be really expensive, but we'll see. Fingers crossed that I don't get completely raped. Okay, so here's a breakdown of my charges. And uh, actually it cost me quite a lot less than I thought it would. And they didn't charge me for bringing my own tires in. That was one of my big fears because it was going to be like $10 a tire. I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, that's 80 bucks on top of this. I kind of figured was, this was going to end up costing me like 500 bucks, but I'm pleased that it didn't. So, yeah. With that said, I guess it's time to start putting everything back together here. doing all right so this was the only real problematic tire and this is for the toyota and i think the rim is just it's done for I, i'm gonna have to find a different rim or sandblast and redo the whole thing it's leaking around the bead you can see here but yeah but it's all right i'm not putting the tires on the toyota right away anyway it goes over here, goofball. I'm never measuring it with the other tires. They're the same size. I know. <laughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, so yeah, these are the lion hearts. These are just to roll around on um, for the Toyota. And then I got the Mastercrafts for the Pontiac. And those are going to be a daily driver grade. So I'm going to start getting these things put on and we will come back. I can. Yeah, you can. There you go. You gotta hold it straight on and undo it. Keep going. All right. I can. You done? Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is one car down. She's back on her own feet again and holding air. Did uh, struggle just a tad bit putting the poverty caps back on. <clears throat> which you know uh i'd like to get some aftermarket wheels for this car but i can't decide what looks good so leave me a comment tell me what rims you'd put on this majestic piece of detroit iron something muscle car -y. i'm also thinking about swapping the motor out it's got the 260 olds and it's just slow as slow as hell can't even keep up with modern traffic really and the transmission's leaking. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be time to do the old swap. So we could do, and I'd like to do a Pontiac motor, because it's Pontiac, or an LS. So, either way, I think we're gonna go to a five speed, because I'm not big on automatics. But I got, well, I gotta put these in the shed still find some space for him and I got to put the tire on this majestic turd so give me a few minutes and be back well there's the conclusion she's done she's ready she's done she's ready only problem I have is that I tore up my yard a little bit because the uh jack sunk into the ground and the truck tried to fall sideways because of it but it's all right it was only like an inch off the ground anyway but that's going to conclude today's video i am exhausted this has been a long journey and probably like one of the longest videos i've ever made like as far as like several days into one video so that's fun i got the little one in the car already don't worry he's got the uh the airbags off and it's in truck mode still so with that said we're gonna go get some pizza hut because he's got a free personal pan pizza from school and uh yeah we'll come back you know soon we'll probably do uh some i want to do another comet wash on this because i just pulled out of winter storage and um give it a comet wash and then we'll probably do like a boiled linseed oil coating for it and at the same time we'll do it onto this so it shines up a little bit and uh yeah so more stuff coming and we will definitely be working on the toyota because my goal is to have that thing going by summer because if i don't sell this uh, it's going to get an engine swap and i want to start it this summer i hope maybe i doubt it but maybe but anyway, guys, thank you for watching and uh, going through this hectic journey with me. We'll see you next time. Take her easy.